We talk about satellites and radar fairly regularly here at 13 WMAZ. Today, NOAA and NASA launched a new satellite into space, and in just a matter of weeks, it'll be providing the images of the western U.S. Now that you see right here on 13 WMAZ, but that's not the only thing it'll be doing for us. Meteorologist Alex Forbes in Cape Canaveral tonight. He's been busy. He checked out the launch today. What's up, man? Ben, it was a windy afternoon over at Kennedy Space Center this afternoon. Tonight we are in Port Canaveral and Goes T is well on its way to the point above the Earth, 22,000 miles above the surface. It was quiet at Kennedy Space Center this afternoon. That was until a roar came across the water as Goes T took to the skies over the Atlantic Ocean. This satellite launch could be seen by another satellite already in orbit, and now that it's on its way, the next steps are a weeks-long process. Lauren Duda is with Lockheed Martin, the company that built the satellite. After GOES-T lifts off the pad today, um, it'll continue to travel upward in its trajectory towards a geostationary orbit, at which point we'll have separation and then the satellite will be on its own in space. From here, we'll go through a series of on-orbit checkouts and do some orbit raising over the next week and a half or so to get it up to that 22,000 mile plus geostationary orbit above the Western Hemisphere. Testing on GOES-T will begin as soon as it reaches geostationary orbit, which means it's rotating at the same speed as Earth and stays over the same spot. And for a few weeks, that spot will be very close to central Georgia. It's going to go through a testing phase where it's basically actually positioned very close to being right over the top of Georgia. It'll be just a little bit west of here. Goes T will become Goes 18 when it's operational and will provide our computer models with data and analysis for areas to the west of us. That data and analysis is important to have for accurate forecast in the Peach State. And Ben, an accurate forecast, in order to get an accurate forecast, you need an accurate starting point. Ghost T will provide that accurate starting point for areas to the west of us for the years to come. Live in Cape Canaveral, Florida tonight, I'm Alex Forbes, 13 WMAZ News. All right, Alex, appreciate it. Good looking sight out there. Now we'll be monitoring the testing of Ghost T in the weeks ahead, and we'll keep you in the know of the latest happening. Certainly a fun time in the weather world today.